Time to pump this baby up. We're doing a fuel pin and a gov spring on our 92 first gen. We're just gonna kind of show you throughout the process uh, what we're doing. This is not a how-to. There are some great how-to videos out there. Decent Garage has some pretty good content on this. I'm actually watching his video right now on how to do this, so do not take my advice. But we're excited to do this upgrade and can't wait to see what it does at the end of it. So it starts here, there's the AFC cover. Loosen up the banjo bolt, back out this top supply line. Pressure, gotta undo a lot of stuff. Uh, take pictures of this guy. Before you do it, you gotta back out your fuel screw. I don't know at what point you do that, but we're gonna do it now. Uh, so you don't bust the fulcrum. This is because we're doing the gov spring on this guy. Again, don't take my advice. We have no idea what we're doing. I'm, I'm serious, my phone's right here, the video's going. And if this goes wrong, you blame Decent Garage, not me. Alrighty, AFC top is off. There we go, there's the star wheel. We're tuning the smoke out later on the top end more so. Got to take this guy off. Uh, they say it's a good idea to take pictures for reference. And there's our stock fuel pin. Little boy. Got this assembly off before we took it off. We checked where the line on this screw. It's hard to see, there's a line in the top of the screw. I can't focus, but it's on the top where it lines up with an index mark on here. Again, Decent Garage does a great job of explaining this. I'm not, we're gonna keep going. Okay, we got this bad boy off. So now it's time for us to take this old spring out. Ooh, careful. <laughs> take the old spring out and put our new spring in. Well, this is hilarious. Looking at my new spring, 366, which is the 3200 RPM gov spring. Ah. Check out the old one, it's pretty worn out, but if you can see, it also says 366, which means the gov spring was already done in this truck by the previous owner. Uh, not the fuel pin, but they did the gov spring, which uh, this truck, I mean, it, it is a fight to get it to 2,500 RPMs. It will not do so in fourth gear, fifth gear, not even close. So uh, I'm actually really surprised that it has a governor spring, but I'm sure it needs other uh, other things done to it, like the fuel pin and anywho, <laughs> I'm gonna put the new spring in because I bought it and I don't know, that's kind of frustrating, but hey, I learned how to do it. So the screw you actually wanna back out is this guy. Uh, Decent Garage calls it the full power screw. There we go, back that guy out to protect it. It's this fulcrum right here. That's what you're worried about. You don't want to screw down into that fulcrum. You want to put this in there and then thread this in so it pushes against that guy. Okay, this part of the pump is back on. Got those four bolts in. Uh, and like I said, backed out that full power screw to not destroy that uh, fulcrum. Got this guy on there, all indexed correctly. Tidy. Okay, before we get too far, it is time to swap the fuel pin, so I'm just gonna take out this old one. And on goes the new fuel pin, just gotta tighten that down. Now remember with the old fuel pin, it is omnidirectional. Doesn't matter which way you put it in. This new one, because it's ground so much, they can't just grind a cone into it. There would be no material left, really. So, it is unidirectional. It goes one way and one way only, which is this cutout towards the radiator. Fuel pins in there, time to get the AFC cover back on. Last up is this banjo bolt, throttle linkage, and uh, throttle return spring. And we're all hooked up. Throttle linkage, it's pretty loose and wiggly, but it works like it uh, always has. I unhooked the uh, intake horn, if you will. Uh, the air running from the intercooler, so that I could block off my intake in case we have a runaway. I hear the intercooled trucks don't really run away, but I'm worried that that full power stop uh, didn't get put right back in the same exact place. So uh, just in case anything crazy happens, we can block this guy, but now we're gonna fire her up. Holy cow. Uh, I think it zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Emergency block. If it has a runaway, Sorry, I'm dropping the camera. Mark set, go. It runs. It runs. It's 
turbocharger. Whoa, black smoke. Man, some people roll coal, we just actually burn it. <laughs> Need to make a couple adjustments or something. But yeah, let's uh, intercool this thing, turbocharge this thing. <laughs> you getting dizzy yet? A little wire it's not plugged in this thing don't run we don't know what it does but we know what it doesn't that's wrong all right let's hold off okay we're going for zero to six miles an hour all right now that i hooked up the intercooler we are guaranteed to have a runaway Just maybe we should try that before we drive away <laughs> So unfortunately, we are only getting about 15 PSI of boost with this turbo, which is actually the same amount, right around the same amount of boost that we were achieving before the fuel pin. But now it's just a lot smokier. So we're definitely getting more fuel than we were, but not enough boost to make up for that fuel increase. Diesel should be the other way around, right? You should have, always have an abundance of air and it will go as long as it has enough fuel to make it go. Anyways. We assume it's boost leaks. I'm not entirely certain, but I'm mostly certain it's boost leaks. So we're going to inspect the connections on the intercooler. Also the intercooler itself. Uh, at some point we're gonna get in there and do a leak test on it, pressurize the entire system and see where our boost leak is coming from because this HX35 turbo should be hitting 35 PSI all day long. Uh, we've tried it wastegate locked open, locked closed. Uh, the reference boost line for the wastegate capped off. Doesn't matter, we're stuck at 15 PSI. And I know for a fact this turbo should scream right past that. Uh, I'm hearing anywhere from 30 to 35 PSI is what you can see from this turbo without an issue. So, need to fix that first. So, more videos coming up on this build. We are definitely not done. We're just getting started with the power stuff. So stick around while we fix these stupid boost leaks. The zero to 60 is coming, I promise, it's coming. Thanks, guys.